Hello, I'm Father Joe Gambala, pastor of St. Malachi Catholic Church in Sterling Heights. Welcome to Saints of the Summer. Today is the 4th of July. Today's saint is Ulrich of Augsburg, who lived in the late 800s to the mid 900s. Have you ever wondered how someone becomes a saint? Today, of course, it's done at the Vatican. Their investigations are made, miracles are investigated, testimony is received, and if all the requirements are met, then the Holy Father will declare someone a saint. But this wasn't always the case. For almost the first century of the Church's history, sometimes saints were just declared a saint by the people at large, or they were declared saint by a local bishop. Well, today's saint is interesting for two reasons. One, his compassion for his people, and two, his place in history. First, his compassion. Ulrich of Augsburg, of course, was Bishop of Augsburg, a very well-educated man, and doing a pretty good job as bishop when the Magars, the future Hungarians, invaded, and they burnt the city of Augsburg down, and poor Ulrich and the people had to flee. Well, after the Magars left, Ulrich and the people returned, and Ulrich looked at all of that destruction and realized that people who lended money, and there were money lenders at that time, were probably not going to lend money to the people to build their little houses, but they would lend money to build the cathedral. So Ulrich came up with a plan. He would rebuild the cathedral, but he would build it twice as big. Not that he was an egotist and wanted a church twice as big, but he knew that they would loan money to him to build such a big church, and he could hire a lot more bricklayers, a lot more carpenters, a lot more metal workers. And of course, all these workers had to be fed, so it would bring in more bakers and would bring in more cooks. In other words, a lot of the people who had lost everything when the city was burnt would have employment. And with this employment, they in turn would be able to rebuild their own homes. And the people realized what Ulrich was about and were very, very grateful for his compassion to them and were very pleased to have him as their bishop. Now, Ulrich is also famous because he was the first person we know of that was officially canonized by a pope. Yes, Pope John XV canonized Ulrich in the year 993. He was the first pope to establish a system by which the papacy would determine who became a saint. 